Hey everybody, how's it going? Today we're going to be painting the pinch weld on my 2019 GMC Canyon. The pinch weld is that section of the rocker panel that extends vertically down from the bottom of the rocker panel about one inch or so. Other people, and myself included, seem to think that pinch weld is kind of strange looking, especially on colored trucks. On black trucks it's not as noticeable, but on colored vehicles like the red or blue or white or whatever, that pinch weld is kind of ugly hanging down, you know, past the body. Especially if you have side steps on it, really kind of detracts. So a common modification that people are doing is painting this pinch weld, uh, that last one inch, black. So it kind of blends in with the undercarriage of the vehicle. A common paint that people are using is not really paint, it's actually an undercoating, so it's kind of durable. There's a little bit of prep work involved in doing this, including, you know, masking off your rocker panel and making sure you don't get overspray on the rest of your vehicle or on the garage of your, your house and things like that. I'm gonna take you through this and show you what's involved and then also show you the products that I'm using. Now keep in mind, the products I'm using are not the only products available to do this. You can use regular spray paint. You could just put like a bed liner on there, roll it on or brush on lots of ways to do this. This is the way I'm going to do it and I'm going to show you how. Here are some of the products I'm going to be using to do this on my truck. This is a Duplicolor prep spray. This will basically remove any kind of grease, oil, or things like that on that rocker panel prior to spraying it. So you spray that on and then you kind of wipe it off to make sure that area that you're going to paint is super clean. The next product I'm going to use is this Duplicolor Rocker Guard. Exactly what you're expecting. It's it's a textured, impact resistant, flexible product that is meant to protect your rocker panels. So we'll be using that. And then this is 3M Automotive Finishing Masking Tape. It's just, it's better for when you're putting it on the paint of a vehicle, it's a little more gentle. I also think you're gonna need a pair of rubber gloves, some plastic sheeting to mask off and protect the rest of your vehicle. And then maybe some cardboard that you can lay on the ground underneath where you're spraying to also you know, protect your garage floors, something like that. So let's dig into this. The first step of this is the prep work. The prep work is the most important. You wanna make sure that the rocker panel is nice and clean, first of all, making sure there's no big debris. That's definitely the first step. And I'm just gonna use a little bit of all-purpose cleaner and a microfiber cloth, and I'm gonna give this whole area a nice wipe down all the way down the rocker panel. Even though that area looked pretty clean, that's all the crap I took off of it. And make sure it's nice and dry because you're gonna be putting painter's tape on there soon. Next I'm gonna go and I'm gonna put painter's tape all along this bend, which is where the rocker panel turns down and faces the ground. So I'm gonna make my nice good tape line along the rocker panel. Next, what I'm going to do, once I have that tape applied, I'm going to drape the plastic from the tape and up over the top of the door panels so that I don't get any overspray on my door panels. So I've got my plastic just draped down, hanging from the windows. I'm going to then trim it and then eventually tape it back to that tape line so that the top half of the vehicle will be protected from overspray. I did a little bit off camera. I was just getting a little tedious to just show all the taping and plastic, but so I did the bottom on the back side of the rocker so that I'm not spraying underneath the vehicle. And then I did on the top to protect the door panels and whatnot. So now the next step is to use that Duplicolor uh, paint prep spray and then wipe it off with a terry cloth. Then you can start doing the actual rocker paint. Now that the pinch weld is nice and clean and free of any debris and wax or grease, I'm going to go ahead and spray on the rocker spray. Alright, here's the second coat.
And here will be my third and final coat. All right, this has been about 45 minutes later after the third coat. I'm gonna go ahead and start removing my plastic. And the final step will just be removing the tape. I did go back and touch up a few spots that tore when I was ripping off the tape. I sprayed some of the paint onto a paper plate and then used a small brush to just kind of touch up the spots and it turned out pretty, pretty nice. And then from up above, a little higher, that now really just blends in with the bottom of the vehicle, the undercarriage, a lot better. And I know what you're thinking, did you do both sides? Yeah, I did both sides. I just only filmed one side. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. Love it if you subscribed. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more videos. Later.